Thank you for joining a read aloud story. Pete the Cat and the Super Cool Science Fair by Kimberly and James Dean is highlighted in March of the 2022 PRC Saltillo calendar. This story is read using the TAP strategy to encourage conversation and interaction with the AAC learner. The words we encourage you to model this month are uh-oh, what, will, next, think, I don't know, and a few others. Let's take a closer look at how to model these words and tap your way through the story. The first step to tap your way through is to pick an activity. We've already done that. We're reading the book, Pete the Cat and the Super Cool Science Fair. Next, you decide how often you will stop and tap. For this story, we suggest tapping after every page of the book. So, how do you tap? First, you talk about it. We suggest modeling the word, uh-oh. You can say, uh-oh, look. Uh-oh, that's not good. Or, uh-oh, or whatever else grabs your AAC learner's attention. Next, you ask a question and wait for a response. We suggest modeling the words what, will, and next. Some things you could say are, what will happen next? What will they do? What will they make? Will they win? Then you acknowledge their response. This month, we suggest modeling the word think. You could say, I think. Yeah, he thinks. Oh, you think. Or whatever else feels natural. Finally, you propel the activity forward or predict. We suggest you model the phrase, I don't know. You could say, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe. I don't know. Enjoy simply listening to the story or tap your way through the story demonstrating words and locations for the AAC learner on their technology, find other words that are interesting to the AAC learner, and use these words in other activities. Will Pete the Cat win first place in the science fair? Join us to find out. Pete the Cat and the Super Cool Science Fair by Kimberly and James Dean Pete the Cat and the Super Cool Science Fair Pete cannot wait for Friday. His school is having a science fair. Pete has never been a scientist. Now he can try it out. Pete's teacher tells the students they will do experiments in groups. Pete is in a group with Callie, Gus, and Squirrel. Our experiment is going to be groovy, says Pete. What should we do? Let's build a mini submarine, says Callie. Or grow a giant tree, says Squirrel. Or invent an invisible guitar, says Pete. Why don't we make a volcano, asks Gus. Whoa, they all say. Volcanoes are awesome.
The group plans the experiment at Pete's house. His mom brings them snacks. Would any scientists like a cookie, she asks. They all raise their hands. The cookies are warm and gooey. The scientists check the big book of experiments for materials. They need glue, water, newspaper, paint, and a plastic bottle for the volcano. They need vinegar, baking soda, liquid dish soap, and a secret ingredient for the lava. Pete and Gus mix the glue and water. Squirrel and Callie tear the newspaper into strips. They cover the plastic bottle with glue and paper. It looks like a sticky white volcano. Oh no! The paint in the brown bottle is blue. What are we going to do? asks Callie. They can't find brown paint anywhere. That's pretty cool, says Pete. Maybe it's okay that we have a blue volcano. We'll be the only group with a blue volcano, says Squirrel. Let's test the lava so we know the volcano will erupt at the science fair, Pete says. Gus pours baking soda and liquid dish soap into the volcano, and Callie adds vinegar. Nothing happens. At first... All of a sudden, a lot of lava starts coming out. Super cool, says Callie. The team high-five each other, but the lava is still coming out. Soon, it is a huge mess. Oh, Mom isn't going to be happy, says Pete. At least the scientists are ready for the fair on Friday. When Pete and his team arrive at the fair, they see all the other groovy experiments. They all look awesome. Grumpy Toad and Octopus grew rock candy in jars. Emma and Marty made slime. We don't stand a chance, says Gus. Don't worry, we have the secret ingredient, says Pete. At the science fair, Pete's teacher loves the blue volcano. Wait till you see it erupt, Pete says. The whole class watches Callie pour vinegar into the volcano. A second later, Glitter lava gushes out. Everyone cheers. The scientists cheer the loudest. Science experiments are hard work, says Pete but being an awesome team makes them a whole lot easier.
The end.